Hey folks, what's up? This is Vivs back from Slide Nerd here. In the last vid, we probably constructed this and this part. In this vid, let's take this blue uh, block over here and try to put this red block and this equal to sign right near it. So let's go in Eclipse and do that. Where's my blue box? This is my blue box inside this. What I need is I need this red colored uh, box which is a vertical linear layout. So let me go and make that. Let me copy paste this entire linear layout again and just do it. So here I'm gonna call this red box. Uh, no layout uh, as of now no layout weights we'll do that later layout width i'm gonna give it as a wrap content for now layout height again i'm gonna give it as wrap content for now let's figure out what to do uh, this is a red box so i'm gonna call this f00 for the background color let me go and see that i don't think we can see it yep there is no control inside it so we can't see it right next we need to put this equal to button all right so below this linear layout i'm gonna go ahead and put my equal to button i'm gonna just drag this i mean copy paste this go here give it the symbol of equal to layout height of match parent with the zero dp now for this red box if you guys remember in the presentation i said that this should have ratio four is to one let me go and show you that yep there you go this uh, red box or brown box or whatever it has a ratio of four in terms of width and this is one so let's go and do that in eclipse by using layout weights all right so here for the red box layout weight should be four and for this one the layout weight should be one now remember this linear layout is actually a horizontal linear layout so when you give layout weight the width becomes redundant so i'm gonna give a width of zero dp over here again uh, for the width zero dp let's go and see how this looks in the graphical layout okay we need to color this red for the height i'm gonna say match parent over here let's go let's go and see in the graphical layout now so there you go that's the red block the red box over here and we have our equal to sign over here which is taking same width as these above buttons you guys can see that right all right so next inside the red box what we need to have is we need to have two green boxes right they are both horizontal linear layouts having the buttons one two three minus let's go and do that let's find the red box first this is our red box inside this we need two green boxes so let me copy paste this linear layout again Control c Control v Control shift f for formatting stuff i'll call this green box number three because i think we already have enough green boxes in our project and for the color i'll say zero f zero for the green color I'm gonna copy paste this linear layout again for the next one call this green box number four now for the layout weight i'm gonna remove the weights right now we don't need any weights as of now okay so since this is a vertical linear layout our red box orientation needs to be vertical as you guys can see this red box is vertical we need to set the orientation over here by saying and or orientation vertical all right for the green box three which we have over here the width should be match parent let's go and do that the height should be zero dp because you're gonna give a layout weight to this a layout weight of one the reason is this green box and this green box should take up equal space vertically right one is to one for that i'm gonna give layout weight of one to both of them and for the width i'm gonna again say match parent as of now for the height it's gonna be zero dp here in the bottom one color let's give zero uh, say nine zero to give a dark green color so this green box and this green box will look a bit distinct right so let's go and see how this looks in our graphical layout well there you go you guys can see that it's perfectly clear right we have this green box over here all right so now inside this two green boxes that we created just now we need to have one two three and this minus sign in the first one and zero dot and plus in the next one so let's go and do that uh, one two three and the minus we need four buttons right so let's go and copy paste four buttons from above that should go inside our green box number three i believe i'm not sure which number it is yep green box number three that is right over here inside this i'm gonna go paste that Control shift f to format stuff for the android text it's gonna be one two three and the minus sign right now all these buttons should take up equal space horizontally so for that there's a layout weight of one and the height is match parent because they should fill this green box vertically in the complete fashion right and then what we have is we have a width of zero dp because uh, our main linear layout that is the green box three which is uh, horizontal in nature so if you remember that rule where horizontal linear layout you have children you have layout weight then the width is zero dp right that's the rule so now if you go to the graphical layout over here you can see one two three and the minus sign coming up the same thing we need to copy paste for zero dot and the plus so let's do that i'm gonna copy three buttons from here and that should go inside uh, this green box which we see over here which is actually our green box number four if i believe yep there you go copy paste that Control shift f to format stuff here we have zero dot and then we have our plus sign right so let's go and see how that looks in the graphical layout as you guys can see this is probably screwed because we have given layout weight of one to each of them so it's taking equal width but what we want is we want zero to be double compared to these two compared to a normal button right so we need to give this a layout weight of two 
a layout weight of 1 to this and the layout weight of 1 to this so let's go and do that in the code by going here to the 0 button give that a layout weight of 2 1 1 so let's go and see how that looks at the graphical layout and BAM there you go guys that's our user interface for the calculator it's almost complete except for the colors and the fonts but otherwise this is completely done so in the next vid I'm gonna go change the colors change the fonts and make it look just the way you see over here alright so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next vid